Carrie Anderson is a registered dietitian at IU Health Arnett in Lafayette. She says that substitutions can be a way to start living a healthier life. Adding fruit to one of your snacks, replacing it with a sugary snack, also helps to increase fiber. And you can also add vegetables to any meal. EBT and food stamps can be used for a lot of healthy foods. Carrie also advises using local resources such as food finders. You can shop in season or just shop the sales for vegetables. Um, and they can, like we talked about before, they can be frozen. Um, vegetables can be frozen fresh or canned. Portioning food is also important. As dietitians, we talk about the plate method and one quarter would be protein, one quarter whole grains, and really half of your plate every day should be non-starchy vegetables. Learning about food isn't just for us grown-ups. How we eat can affect the lives of the children around us. If they don't learn to eat that, it makes it harder for them to make the change if they get diabetes in the future. So by helping teach your kids to cook, teaching them to eat vegetables, even if maybe you don't like to eat a lot of vegetables, you're gonna be helping them to live a longer life. If you are unsure where to start when it comes to eating healthy, diabeticsfoodhub.org can be a helpful resource. The website gives you recipes and dietary facts about each meal. Hannah Grace, Star City News, Lafayette.